morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, we are just astonished. Uh, I was watching regular television early this morning, I must say, and I saw the head of a significant mutual fund uh, who absolutely revealed that she knows absolutely nothing about gold because she was asked a question about what she thought about gold and she thought gold was a ridiculous trade. She didn't understand why anybody was buying gold. She didn't understand why gold had reached historic highs. She said gold was up more than 100% in the last 12 months. So she had completely has no understanding of what's going on in gold. Sold off a little off the 1610 record high this morning. But as we look at the debt ceiling, blah, 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 and all the other stuff that's going on, we may reasonably expect that gold will continue its march, as we've said, $1,700. But the significance of this commentary by this widely held mutual fund head is that um, I sometimes worry that I'm so deeply into gold and rare earths and uranium, things of this nature, and platinum, that uh, I don't see the forest for the trees. But when a major money manager reveals such blissful ignorance of what's going on in the commodity world, <clears throat> that indicates to me we've got a long way to go. So I uh, want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep your eye on China. Start looking on the Chinese taking over the rest of the world with a little bit of jaundice in your eye. I also want you to point out to you that uh, political, uh, I don't want to say inter insurrection, but political disturbances are rife and growing more widespread. Remember, the real problem China has now is wages have to go up. So if wages have to go up, that means their uh, exports are a lot less competitive. So we want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.